Assalamu alaikum, Mumwini, Kuyanat. Welcome to our parents, guardians, the entire Faber College staff, and the most important guest of this evening, the award recipients of 2021. I really feel honored, privileged, and special to share this event with you tonight. Tonight, we celebrate, honor, and acknowledge the good results of you. Of you, Fabian, for, for, for what do you call them, Mr. Fabian? Fabian, I'm so used to that. I just call them my children. So, we're going to acknowledge and share and celebrate results tonight. And it's extra special why you have achieved while going through a global pandemic, while undergoing a change of leadership at your beloved Fabian College. And while we're talking about that, just another acknowledgement and thank you to Mr. Kaufman and Standish for their leadership and their role they played in your good results last year and the entire management team. So thank you. Your achievements tonight, it's not just results, but it celebrates your resilience, your perseverance, your dedication, and your commitment. You guys have outdone the class of 2021. You have achieved amazing results. I had a look at it, I was shocked and pleasantly surprised that we have so much talent at Fairman College. This is a very treasured event on the school calendar and gives us an opportunity to celebrate your successes. And tonight is such an occasion. I personally am a firm believer in celebrating successes, awards events, and acknowledging the great achievements of people. So this occasion is an immense proud moment because we're not only celebrating the achievements of our students, but we're also celebrating the role of our parents. So to the class of 2021, the Matric Cross, can the 15 of you please stand? I want you to stand and I want you to look at your parents and the other grades that's here tonight, when you get home, I want you to look at your parents and I want you to acknowledge them, applaud them, give them a hug, lots of hugs and kisses, and thank them. Because without their love and support, this would have not been possible. So great clubs, or if great club members, could we please give a round of applause to your parents. So mamas and dads, thank you for your continuous love and support and guidance and often scolding. But if it wasn't for the scolding, they wouldn't have been up here. And now I want to acknowledge, girls and boys, continue to say, we want to acknowledge the support, the teaching, the love and the guidance of your educators and also their scoldings because that is what we do. So can we please give our educators at Fairfield College a round of applause as well. Um, my wish for Fabian College going forward is this ceremony becomes bigger. Because with more students being acknowledged, it just means so, it would mean so much to me. We have 15 grade 12s and to the grade 8 to 11. These are, thank you, you might you may be seated. <laughs> we have 15 grade 12s here that have achieved an average of 80% or more. You just do the math, that means they got A's for all these subjects and in some they got even 90%. So to the class of 2021 and the 15 and candidates here, well done. Fairy College is super, super proud of you and your achievements, so well done. To the other 26 that are sitting here, I was signing your certificates and names just kept on coming up and coming up, so well done to you as well. So Fairy College is a school that truly and firmly believes that a good education is vital because we need to build this country, our communities, we need to build a brighter future for everyone in it. Therefore, we are committed to providing an atmosphere to our students where we can all work together, learn new things on a daily basis, learn about teamwork and also more importantly, learn what's right from wrong. I'm extremely glad that I'm afforded this opportunity to teach and to be part of this environment where teachers are putting in every effort daily 
to produce quality lessons. I've also come to know in the past three weeks there's a saying at the school, Hill is open. And I can clearly see that they are open because your results is a testament to their hard work and their quality. So thank you. On this occasion, we get a chance to publicly celebrate the success. We went to a principal's meeting today and the circuit manager said, first thing tomorrow morning, he would like to see my photo with the 15A candidate. But I would also like Mr. Standish and Mr. Hoffman to be in that photo as well, because it's not my achievement, it is our achievement at Fairman College. I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to our teachers and the, and the peers from me for your constant support, the collective efforts towards the development of these young people, grooming them to achieve something worthwhile. Whatever our students have achieved so far would have never been possible without your constant support and love. So for me, thank you for that. So tonight, we celebrate 41 of you. And as a closing remark, I want to appeal to the 41 of you sitting here to continue striving for excellence, which you are achieving already, but to continue to do even more and better, but also encourage and motivate others. I'm talking about your friends, your classmates, your family, and everyone else that you meet along your journey. Motivate and encourage them. I cannot wait to see what the class of 2021 would be doing in five, six years' time. Maybe honors, master's students, doing your internship, doing articles. Please come back and share with us your successes. We look forward, I'm sure your teachers will look forward to being proud of moms and dads when they see you again in a few years' time. So don't ever forget the grounding and the success that you've achieved at Fairland College. Our theme this year, and I'm sure you've seen it in the foyer, you can't miss it, it's quite big, thanks to Ms. Malcolm, is like the way. And as closing, I want to say to the learners, to the parents, and to the entire staff, may you continue, and it's my pledge to continue to be the light for others and to be the light in my own life as well. I thank you, and let's enjoy the celebrations of this evening. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, just before I call the prize winners, please allow me to explain the criteria that have to be met in order to qualify for the prizes. The first, second, and third prizes are for the top three aggregates in each grade, that's averaged over September and November from last year. The subject prize is for the top learner in each subject, also averaged over September and November from last year, and that needs to be at least 80%. So I'm sure you can all appreciate the achievements of these learners as the standard is set extremely high. This then makes the award even that more special. So ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the 2021 Grade 8 to 11 prize winners. We're going to start with the Grade 8. And I call on Ms. Woody for you, the Grade 8 grade to step forward to present the prizes. The grade 8, if you can line up so long, please. Right. First in the grade, as well as the prize for English, for Afrikaans, for Mathematics, for Natural Sciences, EMS, Life Orientation and Technology, Professor Patel. <laughs> Second in the grade, Sakina Mala. <laughs> and third in the grade, Amy Matia. Creative Arts, Mikaela Mendes. <laughs> music Prize, which is a shared prize, of Willyfield. <laughs> as well as Anika Bonner. <laughs> the Great Nines. The Nines, if you can line up, so on, I'm Paul and Mrs. Douglas. The Great Nine, Great Ed.
First is the growth, as well as the prize for EMS, for life orientation, and for creative arts, Ihsan Patel. Second in the grade, as well as the prize for English, for Mathematics and Natural Sciences, and her winner. Third in the grade, the prize for Technology, Jada Needs. The prize for Afrikaans, Zayna Parker. And the music prize, Tali Rob. The great team prize winners from 2021, they can take up their positions so long. I'm called on the great team for great team last year, Mr. Miller, if you would step forward to present the prizes for the great. First in the great, as well as the prize for physical sciences, for mathematics, for accounting, and life sciences. So, dear not. Second in the grade, as well as the prize for mathematics and life sciences, as well as accounting, Fatima Patel. Third in the grade, as well as the prize for English and life orientation, unfortunately not here this evening, Maria Pierbrain. The prize for Afrikaans and life sciences, Shazia Park. For mathematical literacy, Sergio Vieri. <laughs> the prize for business studies, Shantae Douglas. <laughs> as well as Jordan Bonnet. <laughs> the prize for geography and business studies, Dr. Kamang. The prize for consumer studies, Amara Jatin. The prize for music, Corbin Jaffer. The prize for computer applications technology, Anika Dolly. First in the grade, as well as the prize for Afrikaans, for physical sciences, for accounting and business studies, and the standard. <laughs> Second in the grade, as well as the prizes for life sciences and life orientation, Pierre West. <laughs> Third in the grade, the prizes for geography and computer applications. Technology, Susan Adams. <laughs> the prize for English, Courtney Hans. <laughs> the prize for mathematics, Takiyu Swalhart. <laughs> Shared Physical Sciences Prize, unfortunately, also not with us this evening, Jared Weinhardt. The prize for geography, my dear Hayes. And the prize for consumer studies, Zoe Pedro. Academic colours. In order to qualify for the award of colours at the start of the grade 12 year, the learners must achieve an aggregate of 85% or more during the September and November of the grade 11 year, which is the end of 2021. This evening, we have eight of our current grade 12s who qualify for 
Apocalypse. So they can step forward. You can see the sun shows already there. We congratulate the following grade 12 then on academic colours, Stephen Adams. Rosanna Quipperley, Amy Stadler, Afnan Tofi, Mia West. In his absence again, Jenna Weingard. Well, the series are here. Congratulations. The Great 12 Merit Awards. In spite of the numerous challenges that the Olympic class of 2021 had to face, they have done themselves in the college proud. We are part of the Metropole North Education District, or MNET for short. As a district, we were placed in the top 10 districts in the country, and we actually flew the first first in the Western Cape. We are privileged to have 15 or all 15 of our top achievers from last year with us here this evening. Just one or two stats briefly. As a class, the 2021 group achieved a 98% pass rate and 89% of our matriculants qualified for a bachelor's, which is an outstanding achievement. Because if we line them all up, then 9 out of every 10 we qualify to go to university. That's an exceptional achievement. In total, or as a group, they achieved 187 subject distinctions. May we give the group a round of applause? Well, thank you. <laughs> Thus, receiving the Academic Cum Laude Awards for 2021, the following of our grade 12 from last year. In 15th position in the grade, with an aggregate of 80.1% and four distinctions. They are not on the
within the grain with an aggregate of 83.8% and five distinctions from this state. We have a tie in third place with an aggregate of 84,1% and five distinctions, Michelle Martin. <laughs> and then also with 84,1% aggregate and seven distinctions, Gabriella May. Second in the grade, with an aggregate of 87,2% and seven distinctions, Keisha Shaw. <laughs> the Harrow Scholarship. The Harrow Scholarship is awarded to the learner who is placed first at the college in the National Senior Certificate Examination each year. It has achieved an aggregate of 90,1% his examination is placed first in the grade for 2021. So for the first position in the grade, as well as receiving a Hello scholarship, which is to the value of 11,000 Rand, so congratulations, also with seven distinctions in our school.